now that the hand troweled slate's uh, sanded and ready to go, blown off, I'm going to go ahead and make my own colorant. Now, you can order colorants from many different places, whether it be an acid stain or some sort of poly stain, but uh, I create my own out of water, polymer, some alcohol, and uh, color oxides. So I just create my own color, but you might want to make your life easier and uh, just buy it. My colorant's made now. So I'm just going to use a regular garden sprayer to spray this on and uh, I do a nice even coat. Uh, sometimes I'll do a little puddling that way that the colorant sits longer there and it gives it an antique look because I don't want a painted look. So it really makes it look like a natural stone. Right now I'm just uh, duct taping the perimeter of the house. That way I, you know, I keep the coloring off the house and, and where I want it. Um, I also have a fin that I put on my sprayer so that I can put it right up to the duct tape. If you're just going to spray it without having that thin, you're going to want to put uh, paper up, paper and the masking tape, at least 12 inches. We're just going to do a poly stain over the floor. We've created my own poly stain and uh, um, I create my own so that I get an antique look. Now I'm, I'm done putting on my color, so I'm going to wait for it to dry up. We don't want any moisture in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and seal it up with a solvinated acrylic sealer.